Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, here we are. Decided, I got this game, there was a 90% deal, uh, so I picked it up. Three dollars. Why not? Uh, had a pretty good score, figured I would try it out. It's, uh, Alan Wake. So, as far as I've been able to grasp, it's apparently some kind of horror game. Other than that, don't know a whole hell of a lot. But, uh, thought it would be interesting. I'd gone through, hopefully, uh... So I'm going to do a quick double check. Yep, subtitles are enabled. Uh, change the video options, but I haven't actually clicked anything. I can't be entirely sure of the actual volumes. And, uh, yeah. And hopefully the video settings don't disagree with me, but uh, we'll see how that goes, too. So, uh, I think we'll start on normal. Doesn't even let me choose Nightmare, anyhow, so. Here we go. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Hmm. Alan Wake. Oh. So, if it is a horror game, I should probably turn the light off. Always had a vivid imagination. I suppose I'll do that while this is playing. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. There. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was uh -huh. dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Interesting. Even more interesting. Suddenly, his body was gone. Nightmare. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Uh, no. Uh, hmm. That seems. Yeah. One second here. Options, controls. Now, basically, my strategy is a good flick at the mouse should 180 me. That, however, 360'd me. I still did it anyhow. Whatever. Better now. Uh, frame rate is a little low. That's a bit concerning, but I'll tweak with that later. Maybe. Sprinting. Ooh, there's a light over here. Hey, lighthouse. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Could it possibly be? I don't know. A person. Hmm. The fuck? The fuck? You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? No. You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Oh, I probably should have backed up there. Okay. What's with the road? It seems like that's the way I'm supposed to go. So what happens if I go this way to the shiny? The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the Coffee lighthouse. Thermos. Okay. Apparently that is a collectible item. Now I know. Let's uh, understand that I actually have control over things and these aren't cinematics then, I guess. So used to games not letting you do anything. You don't even recognize me, nope. do you, Ryder? You nope. think you're God? You 
think you can just make up yes. stuff? Yes. I do. Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? Yep. You're in this story now, and I'll make you suffer. Hmm. You're a joke. There wouldn't be a single readable sentence in your books if it mm -hmm. wasn't for your editor. You that sound? never Ooh, publish focus another key. one of your shitty stories, because I'm going to kill you. It's Why? not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any the artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Well, that's not nice. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. Hmm. Okay. My work's a bit of a dick. I mean, if you're what I'm supposed to go by. Is that me? Apparently, I, I'm i missing. No, I'm right here. And why is there a giant scan thingy? Isn't that for phones? I'm not sure. I don't have a stupid phone, so... Whee! That wasn't a jump. That was a crappy vault. You missed your deadline! You can dodge enemy attacks. Press shift plus a direction to dodge. You Whee. can't stop me! Try it again. Dodge the attack. You missed. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from this the point of view is really awkward. And I just spoke over some uh, dialogue. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? I don't appear to be dead yet, sir. Do I even want to look back? Let's look back. He was pissed. Do, 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 do. Hmm, I seem to have run out of enter energy? Energy. Apparently, once again, cannot speak. It'll be okay though. This way, this way. I'm running, I'm running. Actually, I'm doing like the most pathetic sprint you've ever seen in your life. So let's Hurry. add some jumping. Jump. 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 What do you want? Oh no. The bridge is out. Mr. Wake, it's me. Play steward, remember? No. Quickly, get inside. There's no time to lose. Whatever. Can't be any worse than that guy. Oh no! Stop! No! Oh, damn it, die! No! 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 <laughs> that sounded painful. Hmm. Trapped. There was no way out. Really? Well, hello there, random die, monitor die, thing. Die, There's a book there. Die, what does that book say? Die, die, Something die. of faith? I'm not sure. Hey, look, eyeballs. Do, 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 do. Tom the poet. The rocking chair's moving. Now it's really moving. Cabin was a death trap. I had to get out. Yes, yes, I do have to get out. Well, this way. No. Ow. What the fuck? Follow the light. Follow the light. You're gonna send me to hell or heaven or something, aren't you? Th that. You, hurt. you should go into the light. You are only safe there. Ooh, look light. Hmm. I appear to be completely healed. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. That's too bright. To it's not looking bad. I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? Bean? No. Follow my light. Okay. Why so shaky? I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's 
sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The oh. hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Uh -huh. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Oh, wrong button. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. It's burning. Oh. Right click to boost the light. Ooh. 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 Feel the power of the light. Hey, oh, oh, sorry, my battery ran out. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Yeah? Here, take the gun. I'll just take revolver. that revolver ammo. Oh, item limit reached. Oh, oh look, I got a revolver. Now you'll die. Oh, he seems to have died. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Hmm. I'm gonna refill on revolver ammo if it gives me the option. darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Is that because it generates light? Oh, oh. clearly I'm a quick one. You made me this way, and now I'm gonna kill you. Where'd you go, man? Oh, that was just rude. Oh. oh, battery's running out. Thank you for dying. So, boosting the light only if you really need it. Don't waste your batteries unnecessarily. Ooh. E to open. Pick up flare gun ammo. Oh, there's a flare gun too. Does it burn away the shadows quicker? You did just like me. Uh Fuck it did way more than that. It made me fucking blind. That hurt. My eyes are sensitive to the light, damn you. If you could just uh, go away, that'd be cool. You're dead. Now where are you? The other one fell down, so he's not a problem. Oh! I can keep this up forever. Hey, look, my name's on that sign. Get to the lighthouse. I guess that means screw this noise, run for your life. Whoa! Look at that angry. Oh, I've run out of sprint ability. You missed. Is there a gauge on my screen that will tell me how much sprinting I can do? Not that I can see. He does look a bit winded. He no longer looks winded. I will take that. Thank you. A sign. Some other things. Some stairs. Light! Oh my god, that is bright. Hmm. So, I'm assuming this is all intro, tutorial, kind of, combined kind of thing, if that makes sense. 
Well, that's no good. The lighthouse seems to have turned off. Maybe it didn't? I see light. He's here. That's kind of creepy voice. Wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Her, like, voice movements kind of suck. Sorry, I'm very, very critical of games. Welcome to Bright Falls. Ooh, cinematic. Ooh, music. I better not get any copyright shit for this music. I think I might keep the, uh... Which my doodle? The, uh... Thing around. Or... I could technically strip Let's the audio from this part, but that would suck. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello, sir. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous mm. writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Uh, somehow I feel that staying here and being discreet is going Very to be extremely nice. difficult. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm ringing. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. I want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're yes, just settling yes, in. the place okay, does Al, look like a uh, horror Peter setting. Make sure you're doing okay, and you call me if there's a problem, okay? Gives okay. me a very uh, out you, Silent buddy. Hill feel. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Interesting. Uh, oh, Alan, we're oh. here. Come on, let's get back to the car. No, I want to go talk to this guy. Who are you? What do you do here? Damn yuppies. Okay. Which car? This car? That car? All the cars? Every car? Come on, slowpoke. You get the full service here. I've made all the Shut up. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up mm. when you get the hmm. key. I'll pick you up here in say 15 minutes. Sure. Seems like a long time. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Hopefully everybody in the diner doesn't recognize who I am. It'll be alright. I'd forgotten there were still places. Well like this. shit. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh god! I am your biggest fan. Fuck. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. Uh-huh. I can't believe it. I've got 
all of your books. <sighs> Who? I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. Uh, looks like I have and to go this way because well, there's a table okay. blocking that way. Good for you. Do me a favor, oh, shut Sonny. up! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. No, I'm taking this thermos. I do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! Hmm. Okay, I'll put it on, old guys. It's cool. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't <laughs> you in your sleep. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Oh, God. Yes, that's my favorite tune. Okay. Coconut. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, if you're wondering why you're not hearing anything, it's because I have music turned off to avoid any potential, uh, copyright things that might pop up. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Okay, let's go in there. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Knock, knock, knock! Anybody there? Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. Who the fuck are you? I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. That's creepy. And to meet your wife. I mm. insist. Thanks. I don't like you. You should go to hell and leave me alone. Oh, you don't look so creepy now. Cauldron Lake is a special place. It's not nice to sneak up on people, by the way. So shut up and leave me alone. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This you are out of your mind. And then I must. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah. Splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. Okay. The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Uh huh. They do seem like mental patients. I won't lie. Okay. Hi, Mr. Wade. Let's leave. Shut up, waitress. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights. Mission accomplished. Who talks like that? Hey, wait, Mrs. Wake. You're. Your keys! Wh oh, shit. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? Hmm. This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed I to am be in a book. Vacation, Alice. Don't lie. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Take some pictures. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. Hmm, interesting. I didn't think two years was a super long time, but... That place looks like the site of a murder scene. I am so gonna get copyright infringement for the fucking music on this. Wow. None of the news this is gonna be broke up into uh, half an hour chunks. It's something, all right. Maybe. Don't worry, honey. 
I'll get you inside safe mm -hmm. and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. I don't think she's the only one with the fear of darkness, Alan. I do like how it does things as like a thinking to yourself kind of voice. To try and narrate, you know, things that you should know. Or more, not should know, but things that you would know if you were him. I've got a key. Fine. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Nope, don't want to press it. Fine. I went to the cabin. Over, I wish to look around elsewhere. What is over here? That looks like a generator of sorts, maybe? An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. Resolve that one quick. So, now I have electricity. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Yeah. Sure thing. Sounds like a good idea to me. No, don't go black on me. You bastards. It was a beautiful place. Yeah. I told myself I could rest here. Sleep here. And forget about my work. Really? What about the crazy bitch here. that's gonna come by? It's dark out. How, do I, how does one? How does one flashlight? One does not simply flashlight. That looks like an axe. Can I have the axe? No. That's disappointing. I want all the things. I guess we'll enter the house. Alice? Honey? What am I examining? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hmm. Wait, can I actually, like, page through these or. No, it's just there. I see, I see. Anything else interactable? Nope, don't want to go upstairs. Not done examining. Ooh, thermos. Thank you. I was I'm honestly surprised you didn't give me a little update thing. Radio. The Deer Fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. But we'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phones. Caller, you're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh, He's my favorite writer. <sighs> I just saw him at the diner. Ugh, fuck that. Don't want to be there. Alan. Can I open these doors? No. And no. Oh, what does she want to do with me upstairs? Surprise! Hey! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write well, here that a change of scene close to nudity. Damn, Alice, you, everyone. Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Doctor Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not. Oh Alan? God. Alan! I don't. Just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. And pa oh, oh, I was actually expecting the bridge to sm like break out or something. And uh, where's that chick that said she was gonna come by? I've got a flashlight. Damn it! Alice. Alice? Alice! Alice! The cabin had gone. <sighs> All the lights were out. Yes, we might as well hurry. Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice, I'm coming! It's all right! I'm what coming. the fuck? No! Alice! Help me! What the hell? 
Fuck off. I'm coming. Sounds like she was dragged off. Notice how she uh, got progressively quieter? And that looked like the railing was broken, maybe? Oh no! Into the water! Keep going, Alice. What the? What the hell? Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. He is not winning. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. Alice, you're bleeding from dead. your head. I'd have to find help on foot. Yes, let's just go try and find help in the dark. No flashlight. No idea where you are. There's a random boot on the ground. You're bleeding. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. There's a car there. Do you think, you know, they would notice that something's wrong? The fires or something? What?